Happy birthday, hair's on fire, and what is this dog worried about? Oh great, it's episode 43 of IMG. Say cheese! Oh, also on Tumblr this week I found this price sticker. Oh poo. Here's an awesome plan I found on Device. Not designs for a skyscraper, but for an earth scraper in Mexico City, an inverted building that goes down into the ground 300 meters deep. We've all seen contrails before. Clouds formed when the vapor and hot airplane exhaust cools high up in the cold air and the moisture condenses. But there's also the opposite of a contrail. When a plane flies low enough through a cloud that already exists and its hot exhaust turns the visible water back into water vapor, making a distrail, a racing part of the cloud. Whoa, look at these legs on Spain's Minister of Defense. Are her feet on the wrong legs? I mean, the big toe on your right foot is on the left, but hers is on the right? Well, it turns out it's actually an optical illusion. Her legs are not actually crossed. MoIllusions.com explains it with this. Gift break. MoIllusions.com, by the way, is a great site if you're not already checking it out frequently. Earlier this week, it covered Cinegraphs, a special artistic type of animated GIF where video has been frozen and only a small portion of it is allowed to still be a motion picture. The effect is quite dramatic and beautiful. This is an advertisement for tires, but maybe also for pandas? And the only thing worse than being alone is being watched. Eeyore's nose is a cute little face, and in an earlier episode I talked about cats wearing bread. Well, according to BuzzFeed, they're now also wearing tortillas, pitas, and the birds are catching on. Of course, proper dental care is the real feline challenge, so let's take a moment for cats brushing their own teeth. Owls can be pretty darn scary, but charts, on the other hand, can be pretty darn informative. I Love Charts has analyzed Alanis Morissette's idea of irony, as well as mathematical dance moves, and this helpful chart showing powers of 10 from 1 septillionth to 1 septillion. They also pointed me to a recipe for tiramisu on cookingforengineers.com. Rather than list directions, this method flows from left to right grouping actions to ingredients. People like getting their picture taken as they fall down Splash Mountain, and we've all seen the funny planned poses, but this GameCube one was new to me, and the shades are really what makes it. Oh, there it is, my tongue cleaner with guaranteed export quality. Just as nice, of course, are these shoes, metal detectors, keyboards, aliens, and sandwiches, which I like to put inside bags that make them look moldy, covered in bugs, or make my lunch a notebook, a pair of jeans, or comfy, comfy felt. Chart Bin is another great info fix source. Their interactive nuggets of wisdom show off things like the only countries that border only one other country, or which side of the road people drive on by country. In the United States, we drive on the right-hand side. In the UK and Ireland, they drive on the left, and in Spain, they drive on the right. But in Kenya, they drive on the left which is where I am right now, Nairobi, Kenya. There's some really great YouTubers out here doing some cool stuff, and I put some links to my favorites in the description. The same site also has a global map where you can mouse over a country to see its national flag. I've been busy trying to memorize the flags of all these countries using the National Flags Quiz app on my phone, but this site is awesome because it also gives you the reason the flag looks the way it does. Interesting fact, the flag of Mozambique is the only flag on Earth that has a modern weapon on it. That's right, it's got an AK-47 on the flag representing their independence. Pretty neat, right? And as always, thanks for watching. Darwin is unfortunately not friendly.